Hello everyone, Kalina here of Story Retold. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, but also head over to Argle Thump's channel and subscribe if you find his videos entertaining, because that's who we are featuring in today's video. It is a reaction to his video of Nancy Drew, everything wrong with Nancy Drew, the captive curse. I might be a little defensive because I was marketing intern during the production of this game, and I do like this game. So let's get into it. Excuse my cup, my coffee. Ah, I love this music. There are spoilers. There are spoilers. Let me back up away from my mic. Unlike previous games, the logo animation is not synced with the whooshing sound effect. <laughs> There's yeah. a monster situation potentially taking shape. A monster situation? Nancy knows all about the monster legend in her case file, but not in the game itself. Um, that is a good point. There was an inconsistency with what player is supposed to know versus what Nancy knows and what she alludes to. This case file, I think, is primarily for the player to get an idea of where she's heading. But Nancy could um, be playing um, naive to Anya when she asks about the monster, like she doesn't know about it. Cause, cause it's really Carl, I think, who's supposed to be her contact and Marcus. Anya is just there. She, she doesn't report to Anya, so she is suspicious of her. Once it is on the prowl, it won't return to the woods until it finds a new victim. A the monster returns to the woods multiple times. Uh, probably like deep woods to like disappear. Who is the woman in the opening scene? It can't be the Freiherr's daughter because no. they don't look alike. No. It can't be Renata's sister because Renata isn't there. Uh, it, it is Renata. I believe it is Renata. Is it just a random nameless woman whose kidnapping mystery doesn't get solved? This happened a long time ago, but all the scenery is exactly the same as it is today. <laughs> the monster catches up to the woman, even though she is sprinting and he is slowly shuffling. The monster should be visible here. Yeah, that's a bum that's a bummer it doesn't appear. Inconsistent text animation. Uh it doesn't need to match. The doorbell glows at the start of the game, but it never glows at any other time. Uh that's because we're with how dark it is, the intent here was to draw the player's eye there, um as an initiative to ring the bell. How did Lucas and Carl get into this room? The castle is on the other side of the courtyard. Uh, we don't know. Nancy keeps her case file with her for the entire game, even though she never uses it for anything. Uh, play a reminder of what their mission is. Are you bothering me? Sorry I bothered you. Most of the German residents speak to you in English. Yeah. None of the castle residents live inside the castle. Um, one could argue this whole complex is a castle. I can have everything prepared for your stay. But again, he has not done this correctly. This is an unprepared room? Oh, I think she was alluding to uh, customizing it in any particular way that may be needed. Um, so if the, if the guest only speaks one language, then uh, like the content uh, help desk numbers and stuff like that would be presented in their according... Um, it's accommodating the guest's specific needs, really. If everyone is scared to death of the monster to the point where they never leave their houses or talk about it, why is there a gift shop full of monster merchandise? Tourism. A lot of the older people here say they've seen it, but none of them will say what it looks like. And yet there are dozens of pictures of the monster in the gift shop. Yeah, good point. <laughs> The monster growls are the same whether you listen to them in English or German. Yes, because our writer and production team had a big sense of humor. So why did they even bother giving you a language option? It's totally for humor purposes. The dev team thought it would be really funny. Growling in German and growling in English. <laughs> That was not matter-of-factly. This note contains the code to Carl's day planner. Who wrote the note and hid it here? 
Uh, it could be Carl. You know how forgetful he is? Excuse me. Why did they do this? Every time Anya puts her papers down, they fall apart. Anya is awful at organizing papers. Uh-huh. Nancy canceled her plans with Ned without bothering to tell him about it. I know, rude. Nancy is an awful girlfriend. I agree. I mean, I I'm I haven't been too happy with how the team handled Nancy and Ned's relationship, but um I can also see the argument from their side because they were saying that Ned is kind of a boring character. I'm not going to tell you who said that behind the scenes. He really doesn't have much to provide Nancy and the player. Nancy had enough free time to make this scrapbook-style case file before leaving, but she didn't have enough free time to call her boyfriend. Rude. Sorry, the reception is a little bad here. The bad reception completely disappears 20 seconds into this minute-long conversation. Mm. Drew, international sleuth, gets to go out adventuring, while Ned stays at home, again. Right. Ned should be used to Nancy's jet-setting ways by now. Yeah, used to it, but you know how tired I'd get if, uh... My significant other was out having adventures without me? In the middle of something pretty important here. No, you're not. No, she's not. Sorry, I can't be more available, but I... Why can't you be more available? Right? No one is forcing you to leave the country. This. This. I agree. I so agree. Every week, if you really wanted to spend time with Ned, you would have said no when Marcus asked you to come here and solve a mystery for free. Right? Nancy takes absolutely no responsibility for her role in this fight. Instead, right? she blames Ned for the whole thing. I know. The castle is supposed to be a tourist hotspot, but it only has one guest room. Yeah, I was a little disappointed with how few doors <laughs> that lead to potential bedrooms are in this castle. We are missing a lot of rooms. Carl spends more time playing with dolls than he does helping Nancy solve the mystery. <laughs> oh, monster Fräulein and Fräulein! These are not dolls! It's pronounced Fräulein. Mm. thing I need is okay. the castle newspaper picking up on how bad things are. The newspaper has already run multiple articles on how bad things are. <laughs> we've had accidents. You could die down there. Carl still lets Nancy explore this area unsupervised. Oh well. Carl says the dolls are for his game, but you don't use dolls to play the game. Uh, maybe he's working on adding dolls for this. Raid. Hey, what, what's, what's wrong with Raid? I love that game. I want it in real life. Actually, I got to prototype test it when it was just a drawing on a piece of paper and the designer used, um... Existing puzzle pieces, or not puzzle pieces, but game tokens, and a spinner to, uh, she made her own spinner, actually. It was really cool. I love the game. I love Raid. Using the best strategy, and of course, finding the coolest looking character. That has nothing to do with playing the game. Uh, he's working There's on no that part. strategy in this strategy game. You guess randomly and hope your opponent has a lower card than you. Uh, I argue. Uh, that is part of the strategy. You're supposed to look at your cards right here, and depending on what the other player has landed on, that is the color that you are battling for. So if you look at, uh, like if you land on a green, and you're going to battle for the green value, one of these is worth like a three, the other one is worth a one. So you want to battle with a higher card number. It should be in the game rules right here. The three colors are green, yellow, and purple, but when you look at the board here, there's no purple! Green, yellow, and purple? You mean this blackish looking color right here? The green and yellow? Carl doesn't care when Nancy steals his desk key right in front of him. <laughs> the backgrounds <laughs> to these cards are taken from other Nancy Drew games. Yep. Carl made a book for his raid cards before he finished making all the raid cards. Yeah, you gotta get organized before you actually make them, so yeah, it makes sense. This puzzle. If you don't take a picture of the cards ahead of time, it's pretty much impossible to solve. No, it's possible. You gotta, you gotta... <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't explain how the puzzle works, but it's possible. Marcus's letter to Carl uses the informal do when it should use the formal Z. Oh, good catch. That would be an error. I mean, I don't know German, so maybe you are right, and... That would be an error. Since you're the best raid player I've met. She played with you for 10 seconds, Carl. Nobody else plays with Carl. He should ask Lucas. 
No one likes lederhosen. Look at these. I look like a sad old Pinocchio. Carl looks like a sad old Pinocchio, even without the lederhosen. <laughs> saw him out in the no, not Pinocchio. He looks more like um, Pinocchio's dad. What's his name? It's not Giuseppe, is it? It's... What? It... No, it's... I forget Pinocchio's dad's name from the movie. That's who he looks like. Not Pinocchio. The boots last week? Where is Magda? Can I talk to her? You should leave her alone. I just want to ask her a few questions. I'm telling you that you need to leave her alone. Carl refuses to let Nancy talk to the villager who saw the monster. It's like Carl is trying to impede her investigation. I mean, yeah, it does look like that. But um, I could also argue in a realistic, in the realistic world, uh, it's possible that the person was so, uh, she might be delicate. She might, she might go into a fit if uh, reminiscing about scary things. So there are some personalities you want to tread lightly on and not bother. I, I get it. His brain is under warranty because you have broken it. Eh, Ned's brain never worked perfectly to begin with. Joe has more time Dude. for Ned than Nancy does, even though Joe lives in a different state. Joe has more time for Ned than Nancy does, even though Joe lives in a different state. Um. Okay, there could be an argument made about where Nancy actually lives. Uh, there have been a few clues in the Nancy Drew games that allude to Nancy living in Illinois. Like, River Heights is there. However, in several of the Nancy Drew books, uh, it's alluded that she lives in the New England area. Now, Frank and Joe, the Hardy Boys, live in Bayport, Maine, or Bayport, Massachusetts, somewhere on the East Coast in the New England area as well. So that's why it seems like they're, they could be close. Um, Hardy Boys could also be traveling here, too. Oh my goodness, I'm getting so many messages, sorry. You might want to give him a call. Ugh, this connection is awful. Frank shouldn't be able to hear the yeah. bad reception because he's the one who's talking. I agree. You've called Ned's telephone. Please leave a telephone message. Ned's stupid voicemail message. Stupid? He's just not tech savvy, that's all. Here's what $5 oh a month goodness. with lemonade cover. Sorry, guys. I know you said there, there's a way to skip ads, but I haven't looked into it yet. What happened? You look very sad. No one else notices Nancy's sad expression. Yeah time he needs to let me live my life nancy complains that ned is too controlling and while that may be true that's not what their argument was about nancy uh, drew is it yeah those were not a know nancy's name ahead of time did carl tell her possible it seems weird that he would tell a random guest about her before telling anya hmm. storytellers are used to dealing with words yet our introduction to renata is her throwing a hissy fit over the word officially uh more like protocol she has a fit about protocol and introductions um it's interesting because some other cultures uh their their uh, greetings are very different than the u.s leave while you still can nancy renata openly threatens nancy multiple times renata is a jerk uh, she's for she's she's um she knows the stories she knows the legends and she's warning her you don't believe me then that is your own problem. Now leave me alone! Renata gets mad when Nancy calls her out on her lies. <laughs> Why didn't Renata tell Nancy the entire truth from the start? Right. There's no reason for her to keep everything a secret. Right? Yeah. Renata eats the entire slice of cake in three bites. Okay. Renata instantly falls asleep after eating cake. That's a little worrisome. Uh... Yeah, maybe, but, you know, I mean, there are some foods out there that, uh, for some people, it triggers, it triggers, um, a very calming reaction. Like, I, my dad, if he drinks coffee, it wants, it, it helps put him to sleep. Same with my other friend. Uh, and if she has a sugar crash, <laughs> could fall asleep, too. This puzzle. Why does I like Renata this puzzle. have chicken-scented markers? Oh my goodness, I've never noticed that before. Oh! <gasps> Chicken scented marker. What? Okay, I need to know which artist did that. That totally passed me up. I love that. And it's terrible at the same time. 
I want chicken scented markers. Why doesn't Nancy drag the bag a few feet away so Renata won't hear her going through it? Good point. Nancy should be visible in this shot. I need to figure out the color code to open this. Renata will wake up because a pencil <laughs> dropped in her bag, but she doesn't wake up when Nancy uses this loud device. Okay, that was not thought out. Puzzle reused from Secret of the Old Clock. Yeah. Someone wrote down the clues for the final puzzle of the game, then scattered them all over the castle. Yeah, why? Who did this? And why? Why did they do it? Right? How did they learn the puzzle solution in the first place? Good point. Nancy doesn't look on the back side of these pages. Are you sure that's These not... pages go all the way up to page 25, but the book is much longer than that. It has gotten past the gates, and this has never happened before. According to Renata's map, it's happened many times before. Oh. The map says the monster was sighted while it was standing inside the glass furnace. Uh, she could be logging everyone else's, uh, uh, findings. You know, like, they claim the monster was there, and we don't know that for sure, because a lot of people seem to have not been able to describe the monster more consistently, so we don't know. I mean, that's a good point. That's a good point. Nancy gets this map at the start of the game, but she can't investigate any of the monster sighting locations until the end of the game. I know, not fair. If you win monster, you get cards for raid. So you play a game in order to play a game. Yeah. Do you visit Anya in the shop much? Oh yeah. Want to hear a secret? If you give Renata food, she falls asleep in like a second. That has absolutely nothing to do with visiting Anya. Yes, but you're talking to a kid. Their string of thought is not always linear. Why doesn't Lucas's father watch him? Right. Nancy only sharpens the shears on one side. Mm. Unlike the other items here, Nancy doesn't take the pry bar right away. I better start working <laughs> on my slow thing. Sorry, the connection is bad. I'll call you back from the landline. Nancy abruptly ends the let's not break up conversation. That's a bad sign. Right. The only way to open the door is to pull a lever inside an open furnace. This is a major safety hazard. Wait, did it open on the inside or the outside? Prime Minister told me that my yacht was fantastic. Germany doesn't have a prime minister. Oh. I do not care about that problem. Marcus is a jerk. Marcus is my favorite character in this game. He's so snippy. Nice to stumble across a nice mystery now and again. It doesn't exactly work that way. That's exactly the way it works. Right? For Nancy. I installed something on your phone for just the occasion. It... Ned installed apps on his girlfriend's phone without her permission. Why didn't they fight about that? Yeah, be that's better the than point. I can. Ned admits his hints are useless. Past the gates. Why don't they close the gates to keep the monster out? Yeah, good point. The gates were closed when Nancy first arrived. How do they know the monster is responsible for this? No I one saw it. the monster do it. It easily could have been someone else. I mean, definitely. You could argue uh, that uh, a lot of the... A lot of people blame the monster for all their problems and stuff. I'm going to tell Marcus that whatever happens to you is no longer my responsibility. Carl is terrible at his job. Mm -hmm. The forest maze is difficult even if you have the map. Yeah. This puzzle. Oh, it's I like the puzzle. Finds a hidden passageway, cliche. Isn't that awesome? Take that stone tile with me. I don't want anyone following me through. How does she take the tile from the other side of this open door? Yeah, I don't know. The newspaper says the word for snake is das bear, but that's the word for bear. Das bear. Oh, you know, that might be a typo uh, because the overlay was probably not um, aligned with junior and senior level. Unless, yeah, it could be just a, yeah, you're right, it's a, it could be a typo. There's nothing to indicate there's a map of the hidden passageways here. You just have to be lucky and hope you find it on your own. Yeah, sure. You can leave and re-enter the hidden passageways at all of the exits, except the one in Nancy's room. Yeah, I forget what the reasoning for that was. Looks just like the boulder I saw in that old picture. And by old picture, Nancy means the random piece of paper she found in the hidden passageways. Mm hmm how did the author of the book know the real-life necklace was buried in this location? For that matter, how did the author get a picture from underneath the trap door in the dungeon? Yeah, good point. Anya read the entire book and set up camp here, but she didn't find the necklace on her own. 
If you enter Nancy's room through the passageways and not the door, the bucket of water magically appears in the room. You can't do the water bucket prank with a closed door. It has to be partially opened first. Oh, okay. It's lucky for Anya that Lucas put the water bucket on Nancy's door. Otherwise, Nancy might have foiled her plans by not wearing the traditional dress. This portrait is unprotected, despite being over 400 years old and almost destroyed once. <laughs> the painting should be titled Die Tochter des Freiherrs. Also, the description should read Obwohl es versucht wurde. Why does everyone... Does Michael know German? Sounds pretty competent. Or, uh, not competent. I mean, um, sounds pretty confident in his uh, pronunciations. Just call it the monster. But at least give it a name. After all this time? The newspaper has already given the monster a name. That was a poll. That's what people voted. I am a Phineas J. Monster. For bad <laughs> luck. Why does Carl think he has bad luck? He won an election even though he's not remotely qualified. That is some amazing good luck. Right. You do well to distance yourself from what you see in those paintings. There is only one painting. Hmm. Can you go distract Kai? I've got a really great prank idea, but I need him distracted. We never learn what this prank is. Yeah. So stupid. I've got better things planned than just stupid pranks. Lucas says he likes pranks, then he says he doesn't. Maybe it didn't go so well with Carl. That's what it's like when I hear the monster. Anya talks about hearing the monster multiple times, but we never hear the monster when we're wandering around. Hmm. Certain, yeah. but that might be the original necklace. That's what all of those girls were wearing when, well, you know. All the kidnapped girls were wearing the same necklace. Mm -hmm. That's impossible, unless the monster returned the necklace after every kidnapping. Possible. Lucas's father leaves a note about how to find the security booth, even though the door is in the same room as Lucas. Oh, it's Lucas hidden. should be able to see his father enter the room. Good point. Lucas's father says he can be found in the security booth, but whenever Nancy goes inside, he's not there. Yeah, I don't know where he is. Seriously, where is Lucas's father during this game? Right. The monster attacks the castle multiple times. The chief of security should be here for this. I wonder if he's out hunting the, the monster. Maybe. I don't know. Where is the security booth? I can't just tell you that. Why can't Nancy ask anyone else where the security booth is? Good point. There must be directions for how to use this somewhere. Nancy says this even if you've already seen the directions. Yeah. How is Renata able to hide the decoder wheel in the cuckoo clock when she doesn't have the clock key? How did she get the decoder wheel from the security booth? She has a way. Why does Renata hide the decoder wheel in the cuckoo clock? The header in the first email has a slightly different spacing than the other two. Oh, Nancy okay, lures Carl yeah. and Anya away with false alarms multiple times, but they never complain about it. <laughs> Both Lucas and Nancy say Carl has love letters in his desk, but there's only one letter. Uh, I mean, he could be swapping them out, you know. This puzzle reused from Danger by Design. Uh, this one might actually be coded, programmed to actually operate the correct way. But yes. These notes are written in English, even though you have to set the wheels to German words. Huh. Eh. For the English-speaking game players. Someone in the courtyard. It's the monster! How does Nancy recognize the monster from this distance? Yeah, it's tiny. On castle grounds. This message will not repeat. Why don't they repeat the security alert? Yeah. What if someone was in the bathroom and didn't hear the alert? Now they're gonna be monster food. <laughs> It's the monster! Again, how does Nancy recognize the monster from this distance? All I see is someone's back. Yeah, good point. Slider puzzle reused from the final scene in Secret of the Old Clock. Yeah. How did you become a storyteller? Nah, uh, it's a long story. What? Nothing? That was a joke! For a storyteller, Renata has bad comedic timing. Hmm. The postcard shadow gets darker when Nancy takes off the price sticker. Oh, interesting. Why didn't they include the letters when restoring the painting? All the reproductions have the letters. Huh. I find it odd that Anya lists her elementary school on her resume. Oh my goodness. That's hilarious. Where is it? From 80, 80 to 84? I wonder if it was like some prestigious school, though. Maybe that's worth it. 
Why does Anya's resume list the fact that she's single? <gasps> yeah, that's a good point. Uh, it could be for um, tax purposes. What does her dating life have to do with her job? Tax purposes. German isn't on the list of languages that Anya speaks. Oh, really? Uh, maybe it's it's presumed that uh, German German is the because it says nationality right here German, so that would be helpful to have included that too. Anya's resume has only one bullet point in the special skills section. That is a major resume no no. Well, I mean, if those skills include five languages that she's fluent in. Hm. I found an email from you that says otherwise. I'm afraid that I don't know what you're talking about. I found an email that says otherwise. Whatever you think you have found doesn't concern me. I don't Ooh, know what yeah, you're I talking see. about. It was in an email you wrote. Nancy doesn't suspect Anya's emails are fakes, even though Marcus denies he wrote them multiple times. Huh, yeah. Thank you for calling Castle Cast, your one-stop staffing solution for castles, reenactments, renaissance cuisine, and realistic sword-fighting demonstrations. Ask us about our wizard discount. My name is Jordan. How may I help you? You have to sit through this long spiel every time you call Castle Cast. Mm -hmm. I'm Anya, the Castellan. What position is she in? Castellan. The game is inconsistent about the pronunciation of Castellan. Nancy's awful. Please, I'm begging you, please don't tell. If I don't, you need to. I'll be checking. Nancy never checks. Threatening. The monster She's again. Threatening. Lucas's big prank is to dress up like the monster, then stand around in the glass room by himself for a few minutes. <laughs> this is a bad prank. Oh well. Lucas, he's missing. Could it just be another one of Lucas's pranks? I wish it was. It's not his style. He wants to be there to see what's happening. According to Carl, this prank is out of character for Lucas. Okay. Nancy yeah. opens and shuts the door without disturbing the sand here. Okay. The footprints on the stairs are there when Nancy leaves the room, but not when Nancy enters the room. Nancy doesn't notice that Lucas's monster disguise is a different color from the monster she saw earlier. A slight different color. Uh, nothing? Lucas's collar changes colors. Oh, yeah, the this shading. This is the first time I've done this, I swear. Yeah, I've heard that one before. When? Both Anya and Lucas show up in monster disguises in the same place at the same time. Mm -hmm. That's too much of a coincidence for me. Intentional. We're on the second floor. What is the monster standing on? Lucas, quiet! <laughs> I need to see which way he's going. Why? Nancy doesn't try following the monster, so why does she care where it goes? I'm out of here. We hear Lucas run away, but we don't hear him pick up his costume. You're not getting me in trouble. <laughs> For that, I'm gonna help you track down that monster. Lucas doesn't do this. You're right. Who hit the second decoder wheel behind the tile puzzle? It couldn't have been Renata, because one of the tiles was in the locked glass blowing room. Yeah, good point. What, you saw the monster? Yes. Okay, good. Lots of people are claiming that they've seen the monster. We're going to need a lot of evidence to get the castle to believe us. I know you can do it, Nancy. Nancy gets proof of the monster when Carl tells her to, but she doesn't get proof when Anya tells her to. Uh. It's like Renata knew exactly where the monster was going to strike. How did Renata know this? Uh, I'm not following. A uh, girl abducted here, 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 and here. Uh, I'm, I'm not following. I Renata blanked knows out. exactly where the monster is going to strike, but she doesn't use this information to stop the monster or warn people to stay away. The monster has been sighted in multiple places, but Nancy can only explore one of them. Yeah, that's too bad. Nancy finds the scarf that belonged to Renata's sister. This raises so many questions. Who left the scarf here? Probably the Why sister. Why did they leave it here? How did they get the scarf in the first place? <sighs> Who kidnapped Renata's sister? How does this picture prove Lucas isn't the monster? Nancy knows where the monster spends all its time, but she doesn't tell anyone about it. Yeah. The monster paces around the forest for hours at a time for no reason. Maybe it wants to be seen. Why would Anya leave this coded message for herself? She already knows the plan is to dress Nancy up as... Legend ending. Find young woman to cast as the victim. Yeah, I don't know why she leaves that clue behind. The victim. 
it's pointless for Anya to write coded messages for herself because Renata had one of the code wheels. Anya wouldn't have been able to decode her own message. Uh, it's possible they have their own decoder. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, the Enigma? Not en Enigma? Yeah. Since Anya wrote this coded message, does that mean she wrote the other two? Because the second message has a clue for the final puzzle, and if she wrote that message, then she should have been able to escape from the trap at the end of the game. Why would Anya Ooh, be going out into the good woods? Point. Nancy can ask Carl about Anya entering the forest, but she can't ask Anya about it. The door magically locks behind Nancy when she goes to find Lucas. This puzzle. Oh, I know that puzzle. Go and get help. Get anybody, okay? Okay, I'll be right back. Lucas promises to get help. But he doesn't. Lucas is a liar. Or distracted. This room was empty a few seconds ago. Where did Anya come from? How was Anya <laughs> able to open the trap door without the necklace? Uh, maybe she came through the, the front. Why did Anya throw Nancy through the trap door? She's already got Nancy trapped in the room. There's no need to double trap her. Why was it mm. necessary for Anya to dress up like a monster in order to kidnap Nancy? She could have done that as her normal self. Yeah, but then she wouldn't have a disguise to, to protect herself. For that matter, why did she have to kidnap Lucas in order to kidnap Nancy? Bait. She could have kidnapped Nancy outright. Bait. To solve this puzzle, you want to press the pictures that are on the pages in the correct order, but you have to start with the necklace, which isn't on the pages. Um, there might have been... Are you sure that wasn't on the cover? This puzzle... There's a hidden passage inside the hidden passage. Yeah. If Nancy calls for help, everyone refuses to talk to her. I know. Why are all yeah. the exit doors locked all of a sudden? Why did Anya leave this bag here? The book titles... Okay, these are all really good questions, and I don't have answers to them, because I'm curious, too. I don't remember what the logic was behind these. Plus, it's been a while since I've played this game, so I don't remember all the details. It says it has multiple tales, while the preface says it has one. One. Preface for this story, right? The book explains the monster is a hoax and none of the kidnapped women ever existed, besides the Freiherr's daughter. So who kidnapped the Freiherr's daughter? Right. If nobody was ever kidnapped, what happened to Renata's sister? Uh, I think it was kind of left open to question. I think Renata alludes to it at one point, but I don't remember what her conversation was. If nobody was ever kidnapped, then why is there an opening scene of someone being kidnapped? Uh, telling of the, uh, the legend? Email has tomorrow's date. And the print date on the top is from two days ago. These emails would easily be proven as fakes. Ooh, yeah. The word the is missing from the first sentence. Why isn't there an author's name on the cover of this book? Why does Art. Anya kill you immediately if you accuse someone else of being the culprit? The monster mask <laughs> has fake eyeballs. How did she see while wearing it? Uh, maybe Anya's she saw out the mouth? Or the nose? I don't know. Arms are at her sides. Now they're above her head. As she's falling. Anya should know it's possible to escape from the trap room because Nancy just did it. Yeah, but good she point. doesn't try escaping from the room herself. Don't leave me here! That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm the girl in the dress, and you're the monster, remember? One day, I will find you. Well, there's the waiting list. I hope you're patient. Nancy openly taunts Anya multiple times. That's surprisingly mean of her. Yeah. You thank me for my yeah, help that is mean. and promised me a special surprise in the future. This never happens. Uh, who surprising in the future? Was it Carl? Who said that? Hope to meet her again. Maybe I'll even hear the story of our time together in Castle Finster. There's a story about what Renata and Nancy did together? All Renata <laughs> did was threaten Nancy and eat cake. That would be an awful story. <laughs> I know. As for me, I'm finally coming home. <laughs> I can't wait to get back. Nancy says she's finally coming home while sitting at home. Mm. Why is yeah. she writing a letter to Hannah from her room? Hannah lives with her. Why is there a trivia question for this game? You don't get an award for it like the other games. Is it not there? Where? I'm looking at them all now. Yeah, I don't see it. Yeah. Good point. I don't see it. 200. A lifetime in Lederhosen. That's a terrific sentence. Oh, 
Forty three seconds of outtakes of me trying to speak German. Oh, okay. The newspaper says the word for snake is bear. Bar. Bar. Bear. The newspaper says the word for snake is bear, but that's the word for bear. Die Tochter des Freiherrs. Die Tochter des Freiherrs. Die Tochter des Freiherrs. Hers. 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 Okay. <coughs> Freiherrs. Freiherr, obwohl es versucht wurde, wurde, obwohl es versucht wurde, wurde, obwohl wurde es versucht, the painting. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah, I mean, there was a lot in there that um, I was not sure of myself, and so I'd have to replay the game to, to get a little bit caught up, because I don't recognize a lot of those things probably all good questions um good good valid uh things to bring up and question the designer on my goodness i'm getting so many messages i should probably get to that anyways thanks for watching sorry i wasn't as entertaining myself <laughs> but i appreciate it so go give michael go give argo Fum a thumbs up on his channel and i will see you in the next video bye uh.